Maxi, you know, when you have a when you have a homeum, you do your game, you know. You will see the pujari. He will he will make all uh, mantras, as idam asanam grahanam. You know, please come and uh, they call the demigods. He'll call Krishna, Narayan. Please come and accept the asana grahanam. Please accept the asan. Do you think Krishna actually comes? <laughs> Though they are just doing all the mantras, they just assume that yeah, Krishna has come. And even the yajman who is getting the yagyam done, he also believes yeah, yeah, Krishna has come. And then they just go ahead with the yagyam, and then they get some dan dakshin, and they're done with the yagyam. But do you think actually Krishna comes? Is he your servant? That whenever you call, he'll come. He doesn't come with your mantra. You do no matter what great Sanskrit uchcharan mantra, come and accept us, and he doesn't come. He's not your servant. He'll not come. But if the gopis invite him, if the devotees invite him, then Krishna will come. Krishna will eat. Krishna will steal. Krishna will do everything because he's a servant of his devotees. With love, whatever you give is accepted. See these. These pujaris are making such elevated asanas for him, all neat and clean and kalasha and and the mango leaves and coconut and all the puja samagri. Still, Krishna doesn't come. And I'll tell you one thing: in the if, if you see that the Gopi Geet episode at the last when Krishna finally appears, when the gopis are crying and crying, and then Krishna finally appears, you know, and that sloka shakshad manamadhu, you know, Krishna comes like a cupid, like a shakshad manamadhu manamadhu. He enters. And the gopis are so happy because all the while they were crying. So now, what happens when you cry? You know what happens? I'll tell you. When you cry, first of all, your throat gets choked. You can't speak. Then little bit mucus will come out. Tears comes out. Now, what happens with the ladies? They have all the kajal and they have all the different makeup on their face. So what was happening during this? Uh, you know, when they were crying for Krishna in separation, you know, the ladies they have they have saris. They'll just take their chunnis or dupattas. So they are just cleaning. They're cleaning their face. They're cleaning their tears. They're cleaning their mucus, and they're sweating because in the middle of the night, they've been you know crying for Krishna on the bank of Yamuna. So they're just cleaning everything with their dupattas. Now finally, when Krishna appears. Now they are thinking Krishna has appeared. So where will he sit? Where is the place for Krishna to sit? So they don't know what to do now. They have to make Krishna sit somewhere. So they can't make him sit in the you know on the raja. So immediately what the gopis do is they take out their chunnis and they just make a heap of it. Now imagine thousands of gopis. So it becomes like a big heap, and then immediately Krishna sits on that. He sits on that heap. Now imagine. Here the pandits and the pujaris are. Please come and take asan. They are chanting Vedic mantras. Krishna doesn't come. And here the gopis are offering their the asan, which is full of their sweat and mucus and tears and black and red with all their makeup. And Krishna happily comes and sits. So Krishna can be bought only with love, and love can happen only if we serve. Sab Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, lage. Sab Krishna, 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 lage. Sab Krishna.